What's going on guys? It's your boy Mars back with another Clash Royale video. And guys, in this video, I'm giving you some tips and tricks for Tesla log bait. We're going to be using this deck right here in today's video, but these log bait tips are going to apply to pretty much any log bait deck you want to use, except for Goblin Barrel, Skeleton Barrel, because you guys know I don't really even count that as real log bait. But anyways, guys, hopping onto the screen right here, we got this deck right here, uh, Tesla log bait with the Dark Goblin and the Snowball. This is just one variation. You can definitely put in the Princess for the Dark Goblin and the Log for the snowball or switch out the inferno tower uh, for the tesla but anyways guys let's take this deck right here over to the main screen and hop into some live ladder games right now at 5200 and in these games depending on what my opponent has i'm going to be giving you guys as many tips as i can as we go through these games so the first tip is you definitely want to cycle at the beginning and make sure that you have your defensive building in your hand because if they go in for a hog rider you don't want to just like let them get a free hog rider to the tower so we just want to kind of find out what he has um if you still don't know if they're going to have a tornado then you want to place the goblin barrel right here guys in the safe spot he has a fireball so i'm thinking he probably doesn't have tornado so yeah he has fireball log which means the chances that he has tornado are pretty low so from now on we can just go um with our goblin barrel in the regular spot but we're just gonna cycle a knight here on this rg if they cycle an rg in the back like this you usually want to cycle like one card and then play your tesla because it's single elixir right now so he's not really going to be able to like get back to um a second rg like before i can get back to one tesla we're going to go in for a goblin gang here um, to keep the dark goblin alive and get rid of his fisherman. And he just logged right there. So he's going to have to fireball this goblin barrel. And that's fine by me. Actually, he didn't fireball it. So actually, he didn't fireball it right there. This guy was a decent player and he went in for a hunter and he could go in for an RG right here. Okay, so he chose not to though. We'll snowball this hunter back and hopefully he gets no hits, but he might still get one. And then we're going to go for a dark goblin here at the bridge. He might skeleton block. And yeah, he is able to get the skeletons and the bats down though. So he had to spend three elixir there to stop that. So I'm more than fine with that. And then we can just cycle our ice spirit and then a goblin gang. And yeah, this guy really wants to protect his tower at all costs. And that's fine by me because he can spend a lot of elixir on defense. And he misses one of those uh, goblins right there. So that's great for me. Um, guys, and then once it's double elixir though, if they go in for an RG in the back like that, you probably want to play your defensive building as soon as you can, because what he's going to try to do is he's going to try to get back to a second RG. Um, we'll go in for a dark goblin here though, make sure he has to respond to this push. And as you guys can see, I got back to a second Tesla. So we'll just wait till the first one pops up and then go in for the second one here. And ooh, that was actually not great placement on my part. Yeah. So he was able to get a fireball on that. We'll make sure we Goblin Gang and then Ice Spirit here, though. And now he doesn't have his Fireball anymore, so he can't hit that Dark Goblin. And there we go. He tried to cycle back to an RG really quickly, uh, but we're able to get our Tesla down because we have such a fast cycle and we played it early. And yeah, he, he logged on offense, which I don't think was a good move. He's still winning this game, though, guys. Um, RG cycle decks can do pretty well against Log Bait usually. So we'll see if we're going to be able to win this game. The first e -whiz he played this game, so that's pretty interesting. Um, our Dark Goblin's going to come in here, though, and we'll go in for another Juke Barrel, guys. You want to mix up the barrel placements as much as possible, and he's able to get that one right there. We'll go in for a Tesla here. And, ooh, hopefully the... Um, okay, we're going to rocket on top of the RG and the Hunter. It's okay to rocket an RG sometimes when you can get value with another card. And we'll go for a Dark Goblin here at the bridge just to try to catch him off guard and some people are not going to be as good as this guy and actually catch that dark goblin most of the time so we'll see what he wants to do here guys i'm going to cycle goblin gang though okay i thought maybe he was going to go for an rg but we'll keep our tesla ready yeah we're going to play our tesla right away here and then just keep cycling our little cards and then go in for a dark goblin here uh, we'll go in for a goblin gang on the RG because it's going to do a lot of damage and the fisherman can't like pull the whole goblin gang at once. And there we go. He tried to cycle back to another RG really quickly, but as you can see, we can get back to our Tesla. And yeah, this is going to be a really intense game, guys. We're up a little bit though, and he wasn't able to uh, log that goblin barrel. So that's definitely good for me. We'll get back to a Tesla here. And wow, the dark goblin did absolute work on that left side. 
We'll go in for a good push here on the right with our Knight, Dark Goblin, and uh, Juke Barrel. And then I'm going to Snowball on top of the RG. And guys, look at that Juke Barrel. I think that just won us the game. Along with the Dark Goblin locking on, I think that's going to be GG. Dark Goblin takes him down to 95, and then we can rock it. But as you saw there, guys, he was able to break through a little bit with his RG Fireball pushes. But it took too much Elixir, and we were able to get a lot of damage in return. So even though that guy was a pretty good RG player, we get the win right there. And that was a really fast game though, a lot of cycling. So if you guys need to like rewatch it to get some of those tips out of it, then definitely do that. But we'll hop into another matchup right here, right away. Probably going to do like three games in today's video just because I'm focusing so much on these games and trying to explain my thought process even more than usual. So guys, this guy's going to have a skeleton barrel and... Whenever possible, you want to block the skeleton barrel with your defensive building and then also keep your defensive building alive so that he can't, like, push at the bridge. Ooh, okay, but skeleton barrel with bats is usually going to mean clone. Okay, but this guy has a royal ghost, though, so now I'm not thinking he has clone and he's going to have a goblin hut. So, guys, this could be a little bit of a rough matchup, to be honest. I don't know what this guy's gonna have fully, but oh, we are able to get some great damage there on the right already, taking about a third of his tower, and we'll go in for our Tesla again here. And then, ooh, I, yeah, that Tesla placement wasn't good because it was one tile to the right, and his Goblin Hut is on the left, so I'm curious to see if this Tesla, oh wow, so actually that Tesla placement would have worked out. I should have snowballed the skeleton barrel because now the Tesla's gone and I don't have the protection against that um, goblin hut. We got to cycle to our knight though. This is a little bit rough because he has the royal ghost. So we got to get that royal ghost out of here as soon as possible and we do. And then he's going to go in for a poison there. So we know he has poison and zap. So the good news for me is he doesn't have yeah, he doesn't have a complete hard counter to the goblin barrel, and I can let a couple of these goblins go here on this side, and I'm actually just going to go for a Tesla here in the middle, because even though he can um, bypass that with the skeleton barrel, we can just snowball the skeleton barrel now that it's like already two minutes have gone by and he's gotten like hardly any damage. So yeah, he's going to play it in the back though. So we can maybe just cycle an ice spirit here to like pause it and then go in for our dark goblin and wow the skeleton barrel actually went towards the tesla i didn't know that was going to happen sometimes it bypasses it but does he want me to rocket this guys i'm you always should be suspicious when they place the goblin hut next to their tower and yeah he clearly did want me to rocket that because now he's got this mega knight push coming in uh we can snowball here and get rid of almost everything and then guys this is still going to be a little bit tough though yeah we're going to have to let this mega knight connect go for the goblin gang and then yeah guys he got me that that just shows you the tip for this battle even though i'm gonna lose this game is if they um seem like a good player but then they place like a goblin hut next to their tower you should always be suspicious and i should have been more suspicious right there so yeah he ended up having mega knight so well played on his part uh, i don't think we're gonna be able to get this tower in time but that's okay guys you're not gonna win every game on ladder that's also another tip for this video is to not get mad if you lose a game on ladder. And if they're BMing you like this, guys, that is just like the most toxic part of Clash Royale. And it can make people like me very angry sometimes. But you got to cut out the rage in the game and keep your cool and just hop into another game. And yeah, we got to just like I said, guys, it was very suspicious when he put that goblin hut next to his tower and I shouldn't have rocketed. But we're going to start off this game with a goblin barrel in the safe spot and forget about the last game. And he had to royal delivery right there and wasn't quite fast enough. So I'm fine with that. We can ice spear here for these goblins. And yeah, we're going to be able to shut down both sides there. And so he has royal delivery with goblins. And okay, luckily for me, that ice golem wasn't too great on his part. We can just wait here and he's going to have a cannon cart. So I'm going to go with a goblin gang in the back and then we're going to go with a knight. But guys, goblins with a cannon cart. So another strange deck right here. And a hunter. And he has royal delivery. So that's going to be his goblin barrel counter. It doesn't look like he has a tornado though, based on the other cards in his deck. 
And yeah, as you can see, he's a little late on the Royal Delivery once again, and we already have a nice lead in this game. But guys, this time we got to play tight defense and keep this lead. Um, okay, so it's going to be a Hog Rider deck. I was thinking maybe Hog Rider with the Goblins. And wow, even with him Earthquaking there, the Dark Goblin had enough range where it could extend over and defend that. And he misses the Ice Golem play there also, so... Yeah, I'm actually going to go for a Snowball here to bounce back that Ice Golem and limit his damage. And wow, look at the Knight damage on the left too, guys. We could go for either one of these towers at this point. And we'll see if he can actually get this Royal Delivery timing down this time. But we'll go for um, a Dark Goblin there. And wow, it's a good thing I did that because he went in for a Hunter. And that 4 Elixir card is just going to get absolutely smashed right there by the Dark Goblin. And then... Ooh, he might um, Earthquake here, guys. That would be kind of bad for me. But he just goes in for a Zap instead, and that is fine by me because the Goblin Gang doesn't die to the Zap. And then he doesn't have Zap for the Goblin Barrel. So he has Zap and Royal Delivery. And yeah, he's not going to be able to um, defend that Goblin Barrel, guys. So he's going to have to go all out for my tower here. We can always Rocket a Hog Rider, too. That's another tip, but... This time, I'm going to rocket the cannon cart because, guys, check it out. It's just going to sit there next to his tower and do nothing. And I don't think he has enough time here. We can get back to a rocket to defend another hog. And we're already back to another Tesla, though. I don't know what he's trying to set up here. He doesn't have his cannon cart. Um, so he's not going to be able to, like, fully break through. But we'll go in for a Tesla outside of his earthquake. And, yeah, that hog rider is not breaking through. And now, with only 15 seconds remaining, this... Game is over. Guys, look at the hunter stuck behind the cannon cart. That's so funny. I've never seen that before, but we can take that rocket any day of the week. And wow, we, we got a nice win here. I might actually hop into a fourth game here um, with Tesla the log bait here on ladder. But guys, that was absolutely hilarious. I've never seen that interaction before where like the cannon cart was dead sitting next to his tower and then the hunter got stuck behind it that was really funny all right guys so after those three games let's hop into a fourth game here on ladder to end off the video that last game was absolutely hilarious but we're just gonna hop in here and we want to start off with the goblin rail in the safe spot again going back to the first tip that i said in the first video you want to cycle um if you can to your tesla and now that i have it as the next card we're gonna be fine but yeah, he's going to go for a Bandit Bomber push, and that's not going to be that effective, guys. We're going to be able to shut that down with just a Knight and an Ice Spirit. And then his Bomber's going to get one hit, but that's okay, because the Dark Goblin's going to do way more damage on the other side. So yeah, we're definitely up um, starting off this, this game, and I'm actually going to Rocket this Musketeer. I usually wouldn't do that this early in the game, but I think since we got a little bit of a positive trade... Um, in that last exchange, we're going to be okay. And then we can snowball the mini P.E.K.K.A. And, ooh, the mini P.E.K.K.A. doesn't get a hit right there. That's great. And now his bandit got absolutely shut down. I didn't even have to do anything. We know he has a barb barrel. And, guys, when they have barb barrel, you want to place the goblin barrel right there. If they're a really good player, they'll be able to see that. But as you can see, guys, he's going to miss right there thinking it's in the middle. And we get two stabs because of that. So we know we're up Elixir right now. We know we can just chill. Um, and since I am up Elixir, I'm going to go Dark Goblin here at the bridge. And yeah, a lot of people aren't going to be fast enough to catch that, especially if you only do it like once or twice during the game. And okay, yeah, it's a little bit too late for me to play a Tesla. But as you saw, guys, you can counter the Skeleton Barrel completely by going Ice Spirit Goblin Gang. And then we can just snowball this bomber, spend only two Elixir and he gets no hits. So another important thing with log bait is you always want to play the cheapest counter you can. And if you know you want to have your knight for certain cards, like if they have a mega knight or if they have a bandit or like a royal ghost and stuff like that, you want to save your knight if you can. And we know he wants to go for the barb barrel here. Okay, luckily, well, not luckily. That was a good play for him with that bomber there. Um, but I think we're going to be able to shut down his musketeer and that skeleton barrel. And then his bomber will get hit by the dark goblin. So I don't need to even do anything. But guys, he's going to go for an Elixir Golem at the bridge. And wow, that is... That's not too surprising, honestly. I mean, that's mainly what Elixir Golem players do. And if you can kill the Elixir Golem as fast as possible, as you can see, guys, I got all that Elixir back. And now we're going to be able to shut this down. And then we're going to go for a Knight Goblin Barrel push here on the right. Uh, he goes Mini P.E.K.K.A. to block. And then as you can see, though, guys, he missed another Goblin with that Barb Barrel. And then we can go for a Tesla here 
Um, okay, we do miss that skeleton barrel, but the other Tesla was still up, so that's fine. Ooh, that was a bad night on my part. Couldn't get it in front of the Dark Goblin. But we're going to be okay here, guys, still. Yeah, he goes for another Elixir Golem at the bridge. We're just going to snowball this back so that that bomber gets hit back, and then we can go in for another Tesla in front of our Dark Goblin. If we can keep the Dark Goblin alive for a while, that's going to help out. And we can get a Knight down in front. And wow, guys, look at that defense. We keep the Dark Goblin alive the whole time. And we're going to get a second one down here. And wow, he really overcommitted with that Elixir Golem. I can't believe this game is actually even this close. He has to use his Barb Barrel there. And look at the two Dark Goblins just destroying his tower on the other side. And um, okay, so the then the last tip I would have for this video is if you're in a game like this where you're winning... Um, and you have their tower low, you can't rocket cycle too early. Because rocket does 538 and he's at 665. But he used his barb barrel right there, guys. So you want to try to get as much damage as you can with the goblin barrel. And yeah, the goblin barrel is going to take him down to 85 right there. And we know a rocket does at least 85. But you don't want to rocket even if it's like close to taking them out because if you spend a rocket and then they're still at like 100 hp then they could push on the other side and take your tower because the rocket costs a lot of elixir but there we go guys we're able to get some nice wins on ladder right there uh we won three out of five games i hope you guys enjoyed this tesla log bait ladder push and got some good tips out of this video but anyways guys if you made it this far in the video make sure to click the like button and the subscribe button right now doing those little things takes like one or two seconds but it benefits my channel tremendously and i really appreciate it but anyways guys want to thank you once again for watching today's video and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another clash royale video